three is demonstrating the leg extension exercise, which most people think is pretty simple to do and maybe not even necessary. But you use that knee extension movement in everything that you do with the legs. Whether it's in combination with some of the other muscle groups or, or in isolation, it's a tremendous action. And you have four large muscle groups here that you really want to isolate and intensify. You can't do that on free weights. You can't do that with a squat or a lunge or a step up. You, you just can't because you're using quads, hams, and glutes. Here you can isolate this very important muscle group and work it through pretty much the full range. I say pretty much because this machine is not to go too far back, so that you have you know, a pulling against yourself vector force on the knee. It protects the knee, but it also allows you to get a fully contracted position, the most important position, because of the angled seat back. It angles back. When it angles back, it frees up your hamstring so that you can complete that knee extension movement without problems. It also, of course, has a can because as you get to this last part, the most important part, the knee's doing so well, this last 30 degrees, that's the part that protects your knee. That's the part that works your best as medial. else. That's the part that keeps your kneecap tracking properly and allows you to absorb forces when you're running or doing other activities of a locomotor nature. This can is perfect. It gives you just the right resistance in every position to match your strength curve. The supportive structure we're trying behind your hips under your hips and behind your back, it just can't be beat for training the quadriceps to their maximum potential. Excellent job, man.